Really? That mean you want me to pop that cherry tonight? Oh, I don't like that. Oh shit! Here we go again. Are we still looking for this eye killer guy? The mole? Is that his name? The mole? What happened to him? What's going on right now? Alright, bro. He just got back from a run? So, Higashi. Tell me. You have a good reason you aren't doing what I asked? No. I don't, boss. You sure could use one with talk still hanging around. Oh yeah, he was sent to go. Start doing your damn job. Ah, damn, bro. Bro, him and his whole crew getting beat up for not fucking up Yagami or whatever. Oh shit! Then these two got a light. Yeah. Or at least this one. I don't know this dude. Yeah, it's awfully tense lately. Uh, Cause he got his ass whooped. Room, you know? huh? Literally in a minute. <sighs> yeah. Mm. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. You're right. Like, bro. Mood. He's about a yes, master ass nigga, bro. <laughs> oh shit! What the fuck? Oh my god! He's really GTA in this bitch. What the fuck? He just shot the bitch too. Why are you standing there? That's your fault, low key. Been just standing there watching a dude get shot five times. I would have done the same thing. What are you? Oh my god! No chance. He he. Someone has to stop him. Someone has to stop him. What the fuck just happened, bro? <laughs> what? I don't know where I'm going to edit the end of this video, but fuck. That was active. God damn. One dead, one wounded in the Tojo clan's Matsugane office shooting. Dead guy's name was Kurimoto. Been in the family for years. Look like decades to Did me, I old ass. Him? Doubt it. He didn't make a habit of standing out. At least they got the killer. Apparently, he says he's just an office worker. Why oh, was shit. he capping him Guy's like that? Guy's a kill ray assassin, no doubt. Mm. You sure? Yep. At least that's what Higashi told me. Oh, you mean the guy who was ready to shoot me the other day? He didn't, though. <laughs> you still sore about that? That's what I'm saying. Anyway, yeah, get over it. Yakuza. To Higashi, this guy shot Kurimoto three times in the torso. Then. He shot both his eyes out. What did he say? <laughs> Why? Whoa. Must be the kill race idea of revenge. If things keep going like this, though, even the Tojo clan proper might end up getting involved. So the Kyore clan wants a war. Looks like it. Kamurocho's turning into a goddamn battlefield. That's what I like to see. That shit was crazy. What am I on? Um... Bitch, hello? Can I? What the fuck? I pressed the triangle. Oh, mortal. It ain't that bad. Let me do some side missions. How are the jobs looking? Where'd my jacket go? I'm on that one. I'm on that one. There's a panty thief. I already got that one. My subordinate is missing. Why is Hoshina Kun calling me? Hello? This is Yagi. Yagami my bad. Oh, okay, there you talk. You've got to help me. Hey, what's the matter? There's been an incident at the Genda Law Office. Huh? What do you mean? Just something terrible happened. You've got to get down here. Yeah. All right, I'll be right there.
All right. Well, that's um, damn. <laughs> Got a few side cases. Question mark. Question mark. What? So these aren't the side cases I'm currently tracking. Fuck it, this one's right here. Let's see what's popping over here. That might do the store mission too. We'll see about that. This cone's about big as hell. What are they for? Can I just talk to you? Oh no, they're oh they're upstairs though. They're upstairs though. Hold on, hold on. Can I like buy something even though I'm full health? I just I just want to talk. I just want to talk. Eh. Eh. All right, what happened to your relationship? Welcome back, Yagmisa. Working hard, Norimotoko. I'll have the usual. Of course, please write this way. Awesome. So, Norimotoko, I discovered Miharu's Chan's dream date, and she says she wants to go see dolphins at the aquarium. Oh, I'll show her a dolphin, all right. I mean, yeah, I'll go buy some aquarium tickets and ask her right away. You're the man, Yagmisa. Bro, she's gonna think that's weird, bro. I'm telling you. If the day goes well, you should tell her how you feel at the end. Bro, it's gonna be weird. She's gonna be like, I just told this dude, and now this dude's asking me on that same date. I don't know, man. What? Don't act so surprised. If you made it this far, you might as well share your feelings with her, obviously, bro. Right? But what if she rejects me? That is a big fear. You can't just go in there thinking about rejection. Sure, the real Norimotokun. A man that truly cares. Oh, okay, I'll do my best. It's like one more. Come on, what kind of response is that? Show some enthusiasm and make sure you ask her on that date. Huh. Yes, sir. Followed by a romantic heartfelt confession. Got all that? I do the best I can. Oh, and before I start daydreaming about all this, I'd be happy to cop your order. Gotta pay my dues. <laughs> You really don't have to do that. Just focus on doing the best. Right. Even though I'm so nervous. Anyway, thank you again for coming in today. And for the advice. For sure. For sure, bro. For sure, bro. Look at my chain, bro. You know I get bitches, bro. I got you, bro. I got you on that. Hold on. They really thought I was going to notice that. Oh my god, I'm so sorry about the plant. Bro, I walked away, it disappeared, and then popped back up. <laughs> I could be sorry. Guess what? Did y'all just switch shifts? Did I pass you on the way down the stairs? Like, hey. well, hey, Mahari chan. What's going on? Okay, okay. Let me show you to your seat first, and I'll tell you all about it. And they love me. All right, Yagmisa, check this out. Mm -hmm. Commence checking. Just like you predicted, I got invited to the aquarium. <laughs> Told you. So who's the lucky guy? Actually, it was Norimotokun. Can you believe it? Amazing. What a coincidence. I would have never expected that, bro. We were talking in the back, and all of a sudden, he pulled his dick out. I, I was going to keep going, but fuck it. <laughs> and all of a sudden, he told me he happened to get some aquarium tickets. Isn't that crazy? You did well, Norimotokun. You're on the blessed path. <laughs> the fuck? Yeah, it's your aquarium dream come true. Who could have guessed that? Enjoy that date. <laughs> oh, it's nothing like that. We're just going as friends. The two of you? At an aquarium all by yourself? Sounds like a late date to me. Well, when you put it like that, geez, now I'm getting all nervous. Oh, what should I? Okay, okay, cool, 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 cool. I thought he was about to go to the forbidden friend zone. <laughs> hey, now, I was just teasing. Don't think too hard about it. Just be for yourself and focus on having a good time. Yeah, you're right. That's good advice. Oh, I keep forgetting that they're both separate. Damn. Thank you. Damn, she ain't got no ass. I really hope Norimoto comes, uh, that shit works out. Cause she gonna be struggling, no plan.
Who would have known? <laughs> Yagami san. Good to see you, my dude. Well, someone's in a good mood. Oh, and you know what to get me. You bet. Here, let me take you to your table. You seem pretty excited about something. Wait, could it be? <laughs> it is. Thanks to your advice, I'm finally in a relationship with Maharachan. That's what I'm talking about, bro. Get out of here. You being for real right now? <laughs> Looks like my catchphrase caught on. That's hilarious. <laughs> well, that was intentional. In any case, it feels like I'm working on air right now. Make sure you take good care of Maharachan, all right? Of course. I'll make her the happiest world in the girl. <laughs> She's got you so excited that you're mixing up your words. We'll hurry you to calm down, you know. <laughs> For real? Thank you so much, Yagmi Chan. It's on me today. <laughs> Thank you. I'll be back again. From now on, I'll let you in on a little secret. Mm -hmm. Oh? There's a secret employee menu that only we get to order from. But I'll let you order off it low key. It's got all the best stuff. Sounds awesome. I have to try it out sometime. Definitely. Well, I look forward to serving you again. Alright. That's cool. Hit this quick Yui. Ah, there it is. <laughs> Alright, y'all just, y'all working hard today, ain't y'all? Y'all tag teaming this shit. Alright. <laughs> Yagami san. Welcome. Wow, Mahari chan. You look like you won the lottery. <laughs> really? Well, follow me and I'll tell you all about it. Hmm? So, what's the big news? I'm assuming something good happened. Yagami chan, come on now. Well, yes. See, Noromoto kun and I are officially together now. Mission accomplished. Good going, Noromoto kun. Now act surprised. Huh? Wow. Are you serious? That's hilarious. <laughs> I, I am. On our way home from the aquarium, Momoto Kun confesses true feelings. Mehari chan, he said, I see you as more than just a part time co I see you as my full time woman. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> that's that's great. <laughs> you know, Yagami san, it's almost like you're Cupid or something. Mm -hmm. What makes you say that? Because every time I told you about my love life, it happened exactly the way you said. And now I have a wonderful boyfriend. Hey, you know, I just be doing my thing, girl, that's all. It was all just a wonderful string of coincidences. Really, think so? Not at all. Hmm. Either way, I'm so glad to have met you, yagami -san. I hope you'll always be a regular. Yeah. Their relationship is going to crash and burn. No, I'm joking. You bet. Thanks for the meal, Mihari Chan. Best of luck to you and the new boyfriend. Thank you. Oh man. Damn, he went back to frowning fast as fuck. Alright, I guess we're good. This what we doing? This what we doing? I guess this is what we doing. There it is. Hey, come here real quick. There it is. I like that. That's what I like to see. Oh, bitch. Bitch. There it is. Too easy. Too easy. Really, guys? So, I'm wondering about this friend. I'm really like... I was supposed to do one mission. Ah, 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 ah. This ain't here, right? Oh, it's this dude. What was I supposed to do with him? Something about him selling chicks or something. <laughs> Yagami sign, head over to Apple Pie to catch. Oh, please ask Madoka. Oh. Madoka, what? Hold on, I actually want to know. Hold on. God, you look like a little girl. Yagami sign, head over to Apple Pie on Tenkaichi Street. Tenkaichi Street. Please ask for Madoka when you get there. And don't worry, I'll foot the bill. All right, I had a oh yeah, he wants me to do some obviously do some freaky. I'm thinking, what's over here? What's happening? Hmm. We go now to the bombing incident in Komorocho, where it seems we have an update on the device found at the scene. They're still looking into that bomb. 
According to the to newly released police reports, the bomb was handcrafted and included a remote controlled timer. The police are continuing to search for any evidence that may lead to the culprit. Citizens are encouraged to call the police should they see any suspicious persons or unattended bags. Mm. In other news, the baby panda born last month continues to show healthy growth and so basically they're still hoping to find a lead. A black number? Could it be from the bomber? That's so, such a reach and I love it. Answering this could lead to trouble, but should I? Yes. Hello? Let's answer that. Hello? <laughs> the police are useless. Would you agree, Yagami san? <sighs> okay. Are you the bomber? Why do you know my name? I've done my homework. You're a private eye, aren't you? That's none of your goddamn business. <laughs> Don't be like that, Yagami. This is fun, isn't it? Shut the hell up. Are you sure it's wise to take this attitude with me? I just might blow up on you or would you rather try to find the next bomb without any hints what <laughs> that certainly changed your tune i can hear it in your voice i can feel the tension rising what do you get out of this bro what's your motive commercial security system is full of holes it's so full of holes the city should have sunk by now what don't you feel like a fool for paying taxes when this is what the government has to show for it? The criminal wasting tax dollars on bombs has no business bringing that up. <laughs> I like your style, Yagi-san. While I would love to debate this further, I'm afraid time's running short. Let's get started, shall we? You bastard. This new bomb I've set up in Komorocho packs a real punch. I call it Pack-a-Punch. There's an ox inside the end. That's where you'll find it. There's an ox inside the end. An ox inside the end. Haha, <laughs> five minutes, I give sound. The clock's ticking. Shit, not again. An ox in and in. I have to think. An ox in and in. Alright, I'm not gonna Google it since it apparently gives me a hint if time gets too short. So I'm actually gonna try to figure this out. Oh my god. Oxycidin in. Bro. There's no chance. And now it's like, for some reason, I feel like it's somewhere around here. Because I don't. An ox in an in. Was it far away last time? It was, right? I'm gonna go towards the champion district. Ox in an inn. I don't even know what that. I don't, I don't remember seeing any type of N. I mean, it's, it's never a serious situation enough to, like, not, you know, collect. But... Hope I'm here. Well, this ain't it. I really want to say Champions District. I'm really just running all over. Like, this just seems like a, the type of area to have an in. An ox, on the other hand, no idea what you're talking about. Damn. Oh, you're lucky a bomb's about to go off. In my pit. <laughs> Bro, I have no idea. You know, let me, let me get to somewhere so I could... Bro, uh, this ain't the time. This ain't the time. I swear, I swear, this ain't the time. Are you fucking serious, bro? 
Oh my god. Yeah, exactly. That's what happens, bro. You get fucking split on, bro. Give me this fucking bike. Bro, am I really in a fight right now, bro? Oh my fucking god, bro. Shit. I only have three minutes. What? An ox? I don't know. Conray? Barbecue? Conray, maybe? No, there's too many barbecue places to narrow it down to one. Okay. An ox? A cow? There are two. Okay, okay. That must be where the end come. Okay, okay. In, 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 in hotel district, bro. In hotel, hotel. There's an I, I'm a lot in hotel. No time to waste. There's, that's where I have to be. What? I didn't hear any of that. Oh, hotel district. In Aqua, what? I'm actually really far away from that. Holy shit. Bro, go, bro. Why did I pick up the bike and not ride it? God damn it. <laughs> I'm out, bro. I am out. Bro, that bomb is going to blow up half the city. Because this dude want to fight all day and not do a little bit of sprints. You know what I'm saying? I'm playing. He faster than me. Look at how long he's sustaining this, bro. Let me stop talking about it. Why is my ear itchy? This is the worst time for my ear to be itchy, bro. This is the... No, no, bro. No, bro. No, bro. I can't fight. I can't fight right now, bro. I cannot fight right now, bro. I promise I can't fight right now. I promise I can't fight right now. Now, what do you say? The owl? What? Oh, my fucking... I'm out of here. An ox in an inn. An ox in an inn. Bitch, I'm here. I promise I'm here. I promise I'm here. Bro, what? Bro, what? Bro, what? Mad bon Bomber. The ox in the inn. This time the clue is the oxygen in. The mommer toyed with me and there's an ant. An angel in the warrior's maze. Okay. Okay, so this is all old shit. Alright, go go. <laughs> okay, so they basically told me the hand I already knew, but I looked in this right here. I was like, alright bro. I'm not I didn't feel like watching a YouTube video about it. Ox in it in. He must have meant the I could yeah yeah yeah. Where's the bomb? There! I found it. Same design. Looks like three hot dogs together. I just pulled the wire out the last. Wait, out like the last time. Well I don't know about that. Oh I don't know about that. There. Did it stop? Yes. The countdown stopped. Phew. It didn't go off. You need to stop. You need to stop this. <laughs> Wonderful. You've done wonderfully. We are giving you signs. Listen, you son of a... Hold your tongue, son. If you want something to blame, blame Komorocho and not me. What do you mean? This can happen. If Komorosha had invested properly in its security system, the automation of our lives, the citizens who accept it, the whole country is at fault. Is that anger I detect? What's wrong? You mad that nothing exploded? Save your taunts. You'll eat those words when you fail next time. <laughs> next time? Hey! You still not done with this? What's his goal here, damn it? That's what I'm saying, Loki. Oh, y'all give me sign. Hey, how's the entree coming along? Well, you see, I, uh, what happened? You know that new dish I've been working on? Well, I went and last, I lost the dang recipe. Huh? Wait, really? Do you at least save a picture on your smartphone? I'm afraid not. The rule is that our recipes are always handwritten, so no one can copy our menu. I assume no one else is in the restaurant. Why do, Why wouldn't they just take a picture of it on the smartphone then if it was... Whatever. I assume no one else in the restaurant has it memorized. 
If they did, I wouldn't be retracing my steps only to realize I'm a complete idiot. Ah, stupid, stupid, stupid. Sorry for that outburst. But seriously, I'm stumped. Of course it had to happen during a one-man shift. You mean it's only you on the floor? Are you about to go into this kitchen to help this man? Yes, that's why I can't go out and look for it. Oh, he wants me to go out and look for it. What should I do? It's supposed to be a top secret recipe. Damn, hope no one else finds it. Uh, yeah, I can something. Hmm. Can you maybe do me a favor and find it for me? Obviously. Pretty please. I can't leave this door unattended, DC. I'll repay you somehow, I promise. Oh, all right. <laughs> yes, you're the best. So where should I start living? Okay, the route I took to work today began on Takaji Street. I walked all the way to the end and took a right. Oh my god. So from Takeshi Street, you took a right? Or if I'm working backwards, you took a right? No, nah, you're saying you started out Takeshi Street, whatever you were, and I walked all the way to the end and took a right. And after that, then I stopped for a bit at Inside Cafe, bought coffee, chatted a bit, then I went down Theater Avenue. Holy shit. Once I passed the batting center, I was pretty much a stone's throw away from here. I'm sure it's somewhere on that route. Got it. Then I'll let you know once I found it. I find it. Can you give me your contact ID? Okay, we'll do. I text you my commuting route as well. This dude here. This is about the most extra friend mission I've ever seen. Let me um check my text, bro. Whatever, he'll text it to me. Alright, let's uh Oh. Fuck yeah, I'm here. Might as well do this shit. The route I took today was started by walking all the way down to Kaiju Street. At, at the end, I made a right. Ah, I thought the inside cafe. Okay, got it. Actually, let me do this real quick. Look, it's Takaichi Street. Theater Avenue. That's the last one. So Takaichi Street. And then you took a right with Theater Avenue. This is Inside Cafe. What the fuck is Inside Cafe? Oh, right there. Okay, okay. I shall start. I don't know. Does he live here? Does it really matter? I don't think so. Oh, yeah. I'll just fucking. Oh, I hit the areas instead of starting there. Like, okay. I just hit it backwards because I should be able to make sense of it. Bro, what the fuck? Kaito son kidnapped son of child? He's apparently at his office, but where is it? Do I have any clues? Oh my god. Sorry, I'm over here like lost. Alright, bro. I didn't know I was, was I supposed to remember all that, bro? There's no chance. Whatever. I think I have a general idea. Boy, that Theater Avenue. And then he stopped somewhere. Before. Or was it his inside cafe? How about here? Let's go straight to the inside cafe. Oh, I could have taken it. Whatever. Hey, are you serious? Hmm. Hmm. Topsy recipe. 
He'll be happy to have it. Oh, that was easy as fuck. What the hell? All right. Too easy. Then left up here, right? Are you serious, bro? See, now I gotta be all your asses. Oh my god! Yo, I didn't even notice, bro. There you go, I have to beat your ass, bro. Why'd you have a knife, bro? No, where's the knife? Where's the knife? You drop it? Man, I don't want it. Bitch. 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 I'm falling like a goddamn Looney Tunes character. What a waste. Alright. That dude was really cunning me. That shit crazy. Where is this dude? Let me go talk to him first. Before I do this mission. Uh, uh, a juke move. I got you, bro. Yeah, we got no customers talking about you need it. All right, found it. Here you go. Oh, thank goodness. You came through right in the nick of time. Yeah, that was easy. Careful not to lose it again now. I won't. At least, I hope not. Anyway, I need to get this to my part-timer and start cooking right away. Get ready to enter a world of deliciousness, I can say. Oh, I've been ready. Yeah, I don't want to. Bye. Bum-ass food. Recipe on the floor and shit. Why do you take it home with you? Whatever. So we can make it at home? Fair enough. Damn, she kind of thick. Golly, I'm... Oh, no. I don't know about me. Am I really gonna fight these people? Where they at? Bring it on. What's up? Damn. There it is. Too easy. God, what, that was kind of sus a little bit. Ah, oh, I fucked that up. They always do that power up just to get their ass moved. Really, guys? Okay, bye. Hoshinokun? What's going on? There's my bay. There's my other bay. Wait, what's going on? Huh? What the fuck is happening right now? Wait, what the? You did it. So admit it already. Huh? I told you. I didn't do it. There's no point in lying. Hey. Hey. Yagami san. Yagami san. You came. Yagami -kun. I'm about to come with these two here. Yagami kun. Ah. The Fuyu's here too? Hoshino kun. What in the world is going on? I thought this was serious. It is serious. As you can see, Sorry san and Mufuyu san have accused me of a crime. A crime, huh? Uh, yeah, but I'm innocent, I tell you. Well, here we go. Why are you here? In that case, why is Mufuyu involved? I'm not. I just have to drop in on a work-related issue. And you got dragged into all this? Mm-hmm. So he's pretty worked up. I made inquiries, and it sounds like it sounds like Hoshinokun is really the only one who could have done the deed. <laughs> that's that's why Mufuyu is prosecuting the case for me. Prosecuting? Is that how it is? Hey. Well, she knows how she knows. What does Siori san think you did? Sorry, there's a lot of names no. and I'm not good at them. I didn't, I didn't do anything. She's just upset about her stupid cake. Hmm? Her cake? Hey, last time she walked by and I looked, she didn't have no cake, all right? Yes, I've been accused of eating the cake she had in the fridge. Huh? This is not just any old stupid cake we're talking about. It was from Goto Gatu. Gatu? Got Goto Gotu? It was a special event cake that I waited in line for hours to get. Huh? That's fucked up. That's fucked up, uh, Hoshino. That's fucked up. So he did do it. And why is she so what? Okay. Huh? Is this really happening right now? Why is Hosh Hoshino hey. being suspected? Then he just oh. 
I guess he didn't admit to it. He just saying he's accused of it. Okay. Okay, I'll buy. Why is Hoshino Kun the most likely suspect? Hoshino Kun was the only one who even knew about the cake. Only because she was bragging about having got in the first place. How does that make me a suspect? Okay, we need facts. When was the cake scene last? Why am I doing this mission? <laughs> I went home around 8 p.m. last. I went home around 8 p.m. last night, and the cake was most certainly in the fridge at the time. I was here for another two hours or so after that, but nobody else came in. Mm. Then presumably Hoshino-kun is innocent. It had to have been eaten between 10 p.m. and this morning. Are you sure you locked up the office? Okay. Yes, I'm sure. Jeez. Then you probably ate the cake. That's what it makes sound like, bro. There are no signs. Why are you on your knees, bro, if you didn't do it, bro? Could she do that to you? Man, I kind of like that a little bit. All right. There are no signs of forced entry. I think the rules out any external parties as the cupboard. I see. And who unlocked the office this morning, then? Gidna's son got here before me, but he left as soon as I came in. After that, Mufuyu san arrived. Saori san was the last to arrive. Hmm. And that's when I discovered my cake was gone. Obtained evidence. But that would mean Gidna's sensei is also a suspect. He could have eaten it while he was alone in the office. No. I kind of like that a little bit. Sorry, okay. No way. Gidna's son is a Japanese sweets man. He doesn't go for Western cakes and pastries. That's your justification? Although I guess he wouldn't have much of a motive if it's true. Hey. You're up against the wall. Hoshinokon, why don't you just come clean? Huh? Before you sign, please. <laughs> I'm telling you, I didn't do it. The longer you hide from your crimes, the heavier your sentence is going to be, Hoshinokon. Oh, there you go. Stand up for yourself. Oh, some ace attorney shit? Objection! If you ask me, Mufuya san is pretty suspicious too. Huh? What, bro? Excuse me? Did you just yell objection for the fun of it? Hey. And do you care? Do you care to tell the court what you meant by that little comment? After Mufuya san came in, I left my desk to go to the bathroom. And let's just say I was gone for about 15 minutes. Mufuya san could have easily scarfed down the whole cake in that time. That's a reach. That's a reach, Hoshino. Huh? Why would I? This is baseless conjecture. Do you have any evidence to back up your statement? Yeah, what well, I'm saying, like, you say as soon as you went to the bathroom, she went, ate the cake, then like, alright. Actually, I do. Ooh. Huh? Don't think I didn't hear it when you came in here this morning. <laughs> your stomach is, your stomach growled. What? You heard that? Yes. That's a weird but why are these chicks so fine? Golly. Yes, you skipped breakfast this morning, didn't you? Naturally, you'd be hungry. So you figured you'd just peek in the fridge and that's when you discovered an exquisite little cake. You couldn't help yourself. You dug right in, am I wrong? Huh? Y yes, you are, as a matter of fact. Besides, a growling stomach is hardly admissible as evidence. Yagami-san. Yagami-san, you're up. Hmm? What? I am. Am I? Please take my case to defend me. If you don't, sorry, son, will glare at me for the rest of my life. Well, if we're talking business, I guess I could take Please? this. Please? I'm counting on you. Okay. Apparently, this is really happening. So, the first place a good lawyer <laughs> starts is the crime scene. Wonder if the rapper is still in the trash. Justice is sweet. Uh huh. Okay. Search the fridge, search for the cake wrapper. What the fuck is the fridge? What is the cake wrapper? Hmm. Is the cake wrapper somewhere around here? Suspicious. Ah. This is Sori San's desk. It's immaculate. Yes. Well look who we're talking about. <laughs> My desk is the one opposite her. Seeing her clean desk is actually pretty motivating. Motivating, huh? Is it the neat desk or the person who sits at it that's motivating you? Uh, huh? What are you implying? <laughs> nothing, bro. Nothing. You're just an open book. Uh, okay, y'all give me. 
<laughs> Come on, Yagi san. Don't tease. Shit, I know you want to tease her. Uh. What the? Hmm? So this is the refrigerator where the crimes happen. Crime happens. Ah. Hmm. The ice tray is melted. Or did someone forget to freeze it? No. Nah, it couldn't be. Nobody's using ice in the winter, probably. And I didn't see anyone use it yesterday. Hmm. But why did it melt? That's interesting. How about some, when they left, someone left the fridge open and a rat came in and ate the cake? For the cake wrapper. Hey. Cake wrapper is in there. I'm seeing that trash can is empty. It's usually bursting at the okay. seams. We take out the trash every day now on a rotating shift. And who was in charge of it today? Genda Sensei. Huh? huh? Even Genda Sensei pitches in? <laughs> well, it's more of a punishment for him. Sorry, san made him do it. Genda Sensei is really lazy about sorting his trash, so I kind of blew up at him. I said to him, don't you even consider the people who have to take the trash out? Then he said he'd start pitching in on trash duty. I'm surprised you had the guts to stay at that time. Yagami-san. Yagami -san. The other trash cans are empty too. Seems uh, Guinness says it takes trash duty seriously. Noted. Thanks for checking. Hmm. Well, this cake must have had a wrapper. Is there anywhere else it could have been thrown away? Well, I suppose it could have been washed out with the rest of our containers in the kitchen. Yeah. Let's have a look. Finding that rapper is going to blow this case wide open. What are you talking about, bro? And you a little thing, ain't you? Damn. I like that a little thing with some attitude, a little bit. Got more stature, but I like that too. I mean, God, we all right. Beautiful eyes, man. Big ass forehead. I love that forehead. All right, all right. What the? No wrappers, but it looks like we've got some milk cartons. They've been washing out and washed out and nearly compacted. Those are Sori-san's milk cartons. They weren't there last night, so whoever was on cleaning duty must have done it. <laughs> Sori-san scolds anyone who doesn't tidy up after themselves. There's three of them. She's not drinking that much milk, is she? I kind of doubt it. Maybe she threw them out for some reason. Hey, build this thing wide open, bro. Who am I into this right now? I guess I'm not. I'm young, huh? Yagami san. Yeah, that's uh, Sari's voice. Golly. How you gonna be that small? I have that kind of voice. And like, I kind of love it, bro. Yagami san. Are you finished with the investigation? If so, we should start the hearing. Huh? The hearing? Are we really going to trial with this? Of course, we fool you. Bro, I feel like if you like cool, if you like real cool and you a lawyer, that'd be mad fun. You have a bunch of lawyer friends too, that'd be mad fun. Like arguments won't just be arguments, they'd be full trials. Of course, we fool you. Or should I say prosecutor Fuji? Are you prepared to present your case? <laughs> Fine, I've been dragged this far. May as well see you through. Please. The court is now in session. Is now in session for defendant Issei Hoshino. Who is that on the? You hear that? Hold on. Oh no, I missed it. Ah, oh, fucking, it was a little late. Fuck me. What the? Uh, the fucking shaky shits where you I fucking forget what to go. Anyways, Prosecutor Fuji, your opening statement, please. Uh well the prosecution is firmly of the belief that Hushino Kun is the only viable culprit. And your proof? The defendant is arguing that you yourself could be the culprit. Your Honor, I have a counter argument to the to that assertion. 
Hmm. Proceed, Prosecutor Fuji. If I had been the one who ate it, something that should be present is missing from the crime scene. Yagami-kun. The rapper, right? Right, Yagami-kun? You can cor corroborate the statement. I take it. Hmm? Me. Hmm. Fuji really ate the cake. Something that should exist is missing. The proof of that is... No rapper, right? Oh, shit. Yeah. Because if Gendasan took it out, and then she was here, because I forget the order. Oh, let me look at this. Found it the, I'm really taking this seriously right now. <laughs> Found in the kitchen, been okay. Morning officer. Gendo arrived first in the morning and left the office after Shuna came to work. Mufuya entered after that. Okay, yeah, so he would have taken the trash out, but if she ate the cake, then she would, the rapper would still be around, but if the cake was gone before that, then it could have been taken out of the trash. So that's the, yeah. The, sh cr the trash can at the scene was empty because its contents were removed this morning. Okay. Yes, Genda Sensei was the first one in the office today, but that's probably when he took out the trash. Which means if Mufuya had eaten the cake, she would have had to discard the wrapper afterwards. Yep. And since we've all confirmed that the trash can is empty. Hey. Oh, you have a point. Right, there was no wrapper in the trash can, which means I couldn't have eaten the cake. And we've thoroughly searched every trash can, they're all as clean. I'm sorry, I'm fucking way out the fucking. That's good. Whatever, y'all be okay. We've thoroughly searched every trash can. They're all clean as a whistle. I see. This is pretty conclusive evidence. Nope. Hold it. Sorry, son. I can present a counter argument here. Okay. The court will hear the defense's objection. Okay. <laughs> While the rapper may not be in the trash can, we can't rule out that you did hide the evidence. <laughs> objection. Predictable, Yagami Kun. Talk your shit then. Talk your shit. I'd like to present the court with some new evidence. Mm -hmm. New evidence? While you were searching the room, I performed my own investigation, naturally. That's when this document on Sori de Sori's desk caught my eye. I can't read that. It's a notice of a planned power outage. I, I appreciate huh? you. Relevance, pro prosecutor? It seems there was a blackout last night scheduled, which would explain the ice, right? From 11 p.m. to 9 a.m. The next morning, right after he left, I do remember Genda Sensei saying something about that. He warned the whole office not to keep anything in the fridge or it would spoil. Hey. Oh, I remember that too. But I had something urgent come up, so I left and forgot all about mm -hmm. it. Hmm. And that means, precisely, if the cake was left inside the fridge and the power, it spoiled. So Genda Sensei took all the trash out. He he was like, "This is trash. It's spoiled. Throw it out." That's what happened. It just spoiled. Okay. Despite being winter, it's been unseasonably warm. Mm. And if anyone ate it, they know it was spoiled after a single bite. Right. There's no way anyone would go through with eating the whole thing, so they mm. threw it away. But the whole cake has vanished. Someone must have devoured the fresh cake. And there's only one span of time where that's possible. Oh, so we're still thinking someone ate it. I was just thinking, get it since he, since he came early. He was like, this shit is spoiled. What the fuck? Threw the shit trash. Took out all the trash. Not this morning after the cake would have spoiled, but last night when it was still fresh. Oh, hey, wait. I'm afraid so, Hershnik Kun. The only one who could have eaten it was the one who closed up. Objection! God damn it! Hershnik Kun, it can only be. Golly! No way! Close that mouth, bro. Like, what you doing? What you trying to eat? Objection, bro. There you go. Talk to him. Objection. Excuse me. Does defense have further arguments? Yep. Yes, I do. Yes. I think it's too early to pronounce a verdict. This better be good. The cake was the only thing that went missing from the fridge, and I have evidence to prove it. The milk cartons, right? The milk sorry sign put in the fridge has been dumped, washed out, and neatly compacted. In other words, the milk was also removed from the fridge, three cards to be precise. Gita says he must have done it during his cleaning duty, an act forced upon him by the victim herself. Hmm. 
I'm not following Yagami. Let's consider what would drive Genda Sensei to do this. Why would he discard three milk cards at once if there was some left? You're right. That's really an odd thing to do. Why? Because it's spoiled. Fucking lawyers. There's one particular piece of evidence points to the logic behind his actions. Sorry, my fucking face. Check this out. The power outage. Well. Difference. Does this line of reasoning have a point? What would happen to milk left inside for a fridge for a whole night without electricity? I believe it would go bad. Look at him across his arms like he really spins some shit. Begin this to say who had a cleaning duty, found the milk that had gone bad. He probably would throw it away. Oh. oh then he would throw away the milk. It's our cake. It seems the prosecution is beginning to see the clock. Which means the true culprit that ate Saori Sound's cake is nobody. No one ate the cake. In other words, there is no corporate to blame. Huh? What? <laughs> they got out the box. I can't believe this. Hey. You're implying Gideon Sensei threw away the spoiled cake? Yeah, that's about the sum of it. Sorry, said herself that she hurried home last night due to an urgent matter. The outage slipped her mind entirely. Thus, when Gendis Sensei found the cake had spoiled, he did his duty and discarded it. So you're saying I kind of jumped to conclusions? Oh, wow, quite a crowd in here. We're Why didn't y'all just wait for this dude to prove it? Whatever. What brings you by, Yagami and Mukuyuko? Welcome back, Genda Sensei. Say, who left that cake and all that milk in the fridge overnight? Didn't I practically beat you guys over the head about the power outage? And all the and all the day I had cleaning duty of all days. It's rude to make people throw away spoiled food, you know. <laughs> Got us. Ah. Damn, I kind of like that moan sound again. Oh. What? I believe the words were, Don't you even consider the people who have to take the trash out? Your words, right? Shirosaki-kun? Shirosaki-kun? Well, having to deal with all that spoiled food, I understand the meaning all too well now. I, I, I'm so sorry. Aww. I love her. <laughs> That's wifey material, bro. Thank you. Thank you, Yagami-san. It looks like I'm cleared of suspicion. <laughs> and I sent to Sori-san to clean the duty for one month straight, starting tomorrow. I'm sorry. There are no words to express my remorse. I'm sorry. I love her voice. I love her face. I love her hair. I love her body. I love... As my defense attorney, I'd like you to have this. God damn, I love that. Thanks. I've got to say, though, I'm pretty shocked. Why pay me when Genda came and basically just proved everything? Like, there was no point in that, whatever. It's just, sorry, science stays cool under pressure, but as soon as sweets get involved, you have no idea how long I've been looking forward to that cake. I can appreciate that, but as lawyers, we need to keep our heads on straight all the time, all time, at all times. My God, please. I'll work on that. <laughs> <laughs> That's any time she opens her mouth, I just get that vibe. His clothes, I guess. A pretty turbulent day for the ju criminal justice system. Sorry, I was chilling on that on that mission. <laughs> Morcho is pretty tense right now. No thanks to Matsugo and that family and the Kyori clan at each other's throats. But ask Higashi about it. New info. No more. Hey man, I'm Tatsuo. And I own the bar just over there. You look thirsty, my friend. Hmm? Do I? <laughs> Only 2,000 yen for a drink. What do you say? <sighs> oh, he's a barker. Hey, come on, man. I'm in serious trouble right now. A big party just canceled on me. And I'm so screwed if I don't fill some tables. So please, can't you hear me out? Like I said... Oh, sorry. That's him. Like I said, I run that bar over there with my wife. It's got a real nice vibe and pretty good food, if I do say so myself. But losing customers like this it has put us in a real pinch. If you have a drink, you'll really be helping us out. Damn, this guy is not giving up, is he? Just 2,000 yen, right? Totally, it's a panic sale. You won't regret it. I'm on it. Fine, just one drink, though. Now we're talking. Please write this way. 
Hey, about this turns out sketchy. I'll mark it right out the door. This is a bar? Classy bar, I guess. What's this, a customer? You're darn, you're darn right, Mikey. Caught this guy wandering right outside and offered him a break. Honey, don't tell me. Were you out there harassing people again? Didn't I tell you it's against the law? Sh shut up, woman. It's my bar and I'll do what I want. <laughs> What's your bar, is it? What if I stop helping you with it then? Ooh. Oh, really? You're the one who needs the cash to fund your host club addiction? I haven't gone to a host club in forever, and I've worked more than enough to make up for it. How did I manage to walk into a marital spout? Spat? You're ridiculous. I'm going to go have a drink. That's hilarious. At a different bar? Uh, oh, I'm so sorry, sir. That must have been terribly awkward for you. I don't want to keep no. you. She seems nice. You need to dump that dude. No, it's fine. I don't mind ordering the drink. I, I said I would. Mm. What would you like, sir? You have any recommendations? We actually just restocked some top shelf whiskey today. We can barely keep this stuff in the house. Seems like it's a good bargain for a great taste, if you ask me. Ah. So it's right up my alley. Okay. Coming right up. Thanks for the drink. It was nice. Am I gonna fix their marriage? I'm glad you enjoyed yourself. Come back anytime. Yeah, I'll pay in cash. Sure, I've got 2,000 yen on me. Huh? What the fuck? Why is this bill for 100,000 yen? That's what I read too. Hey. You sure that's right? Yeah? Did I put the wrong price? <laughs> I'm afraid not, sir. Everything looks correct huh? to me, bitch. Oh, and I was defending you too. Oh, you a hoe. Oh, I hope you all get divorced. What? 100,000 in cash, please. They got me. These conniving. <laughs> <laughs> they ripped me off. Bro, don't pay that, bro. Entrapment. Oh, shit. Hmm? Oh, sir, are you unable? That has to be illegal. <laughs> you can't just say, hey, this is how much this costs. And then, nah. I mean, nah. <laughs> I'm sorry, are you unable huh? to pay? Back it up for a second. Anyway, you slice it, 100000 for a shot of whiskey is ridiculous. You just said the prices were reasonable. <laughs> Bro, her laugh is killing me. They are reasonable, sir. But I've included the service fee from my world-class bartender. Are you listening to me? Your husband said it was 2,000 yen a drink. Oh, my husband has no idea what we charge. I keep telling him to stop quoting prices. That's stupid, man. Look at him, causing such misunderstandings. You're shameless. That fight earlier was just to lower my guard, wasn't it? I don't know what you're talking about. Am I about to beat this bitch's ass? Now if you would, the check, sir. The police are going to catch on to this, you know? Please, the police don't have time to deal with civil affairs in this town. They wouldn't come if you reported me. She knows the game too well. <laughs> Damn it. Sir, I have pl plans for after this. So if you don't mind, can you please close your tab? Huh? I think I'm just going to cough up that kind of money? Huh? Eh? If you don't pay, I'll stab myself. And who do you think they'll blame? Huh? What? Are you really ready to pay the price for stabbing a poor defenseless woman? Where did you get the fucking knife? You wouldn't. Oh, but I would, you crazy bitch. I'll scream at this, stab myself right here. Bitch, do it. I'm not paying. Fine, you asked for it. Wait, wait just a minute. God, shit. What do I do now? Bro, fuck her. I'm not paying, bitch. Fine, you asked for it. Wait, just a minute. God damn. No, bitch. I ain't fucking playing, dog. Paying. Either. Bro.
Yeah, buy some time, bro. Is there no other way? Nothing I can see? Hmm. What was that vibration? Hey. She's pretty dressed up. That necklace is the star of the ensemble, too. Is the star of the ensemble, too. <laughs> hmm, are you eyeing my necklace? I like to wear this one on special hmm. occasions. Special occasions? Ooh. Oh, don't worry. It's got nothing to do with you. But if you want to fantasize about my body and my necklace later tonight, you're welcome to it. Hell no. Hmm. A special occasion tonight, huh? That must mean she's meeting someone. Is she meeting her husband or someone else? Maybe this will be my lucky break. It could be completely harmless. But if it's not, I have my bargaining chip. I'm desperate here. Where's the fucking cat that I hear? What the? Oh, look, a cat. Oh, you crazy bitch. Suspicious. That's a hell of a lot of cigarette butts. Does she smoke that much? Maybe it's a customer. Or maybe it's her barker husband. By the way, maybe I can break out of this. Hmm. So that's where the money goes that she rips off the customers. <sighs> Pisses me off that my money is about to go there too. No, it's not, bro. No, it's not, bro. Why'd I get zero SP for that? It's bullshit. <gasps> they must have a bathroom. Maybe I can get out Excuse that way. Me. Hey, you mind if I use the bathroom real quick? If you pay first. I'm leaking here, lady. If you plan to escape from the bathroom, don't even think about it. Uh, Crap. Do that in the bathroom. Huh? That's not what I meant. <laughs> that's hilarious. That bro, that's hilarious. Alright. Zero SP for fucking nothing. Uh-huh. So the service fee is 40,000 yen, and then there's a pouring fee, 50,000 yen, what the what fuck? Oh my god, when we sell everything at 2,000 yen to drink, we have to make the money somehow, huh? why complain? Because it's robbery, that's why. Why come to a bar if all you're going to do is complain? Hey, I got dragged in here by a barker. <laughs> you young folks will we'll nitpick anything these days, degenerates all of you. The only degenerate in here is you, lady. Bitch. Sure wears a lot of makeup tonight and it's immaculate she couldn't do this every day could she i see you sizing me up pretty boy i'm quite a cash huh you caught me on a good night bro why don't you just flirt with her so you can fucking not pay bro i mean golly so if she did go the extra mile tonight keep staring at me i'm going to add it to your tab never mind damn what do you think i'll give you even more if beauty has a price has its price sweetie in fact now that i look at you you're handsome in a rugged sort of way. Do you like to pay physically? I mean, shit. I mean, huh, you could teach me some things. Like you look experienced, you know what I'm saying? Okay. No, no. I'll give you your money. This woman is something else. I'm so glad I didn't deactivate vibration. I had deactivate uh, vibration on my controller on the PlayStation shit. Because, um. Just the issues. Y'all don't give a fuck. Hey. No ring! No ring! No ring that I can see. But then again, it's her right hand, so. Hmm. Look, 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 she took it off. She looked. Look. Maybe if I check her left, though. If she's having an affair, she'd take off her ring for sure. Yes, bro. Yes, bro. You see it. You fucking see it. Give me that fucking hand, you bitch. Right there, fucking hurt. Okay, there we go. Hmm, there's a tail line on our figure. Does that mean her wedding ring is usually on? If so, that would mean she's taking it off specifically for tonight. Maybe this woman really is about to go have an affair. What? I'm reading too fast. If I could just get her, get evidence of that. If I could use it to negotiate the return of my money. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Hey, how long are you going to stare into space? Pay up already. Pissing me off to no end. But I think I should just pay her for now. And get out the situation. This really is a side mission. Wow. I gotta pay right now? That's fucked up. What if I didn't have... To, well, I guess the mission won't pop up if I didn't have the money, huh?
Mm. Shit, you got me, lady. But don't think for a second that this is over. I get my money back in my own way. He's right that the police would never bother with a fraud like this. So I guess I have to stoop to her level. If I catch her in the middle of an affair, that'd be all the bargaining chips I need. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bro, her laugh. I just got off working, darling. Mm. Yep, I'm good. I see you soon. Hee <laughs> hee. She was laying the charm on thick. That had to have been the guy on the other end. This is looking more and more like I might just get the fair I'm after. Hmm. Yep, trailing this lady is the right call. I get my money back and she'll be she'll pay for taking it. Nice. Alright, just gotta follow her without getting seen. Let's go then. Let's go. Damn, I look like a creeper, especially in the alley. Easy lady, too easy. Was on my ass there. Bitch, you lost. You better keep moving. Whoa, didn't mean to do that. I'm a tall doll, too. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> Imagine that. Bitch, why are you running? I know you didn't see me. Bro, imagine that you like you feel like someone's chasing you, and you turn around, you just see someone sprinting, bro. <laughs> this is running at high hills, bro. She was just trying to get out. Oh, that him, that him, that him? What a bunch of whores. Oh, there? Okay, my bad. Give me this peanut butter. That ain't possible. Ah. Oh, hook. Ew, bro. Were you waiting long, baby? Oh no, I just got here. Slut. I can't blame her though. She old as fuck. It's been so long, hasn't it, Subasa? So, do you have anything long you want to give me? <laughs> Damn, Mikey, it's only been three days, hasn't it? I right, she's seeing that host. She really lied about the host clubs. Where does she need a hundred thousand yen? These guys aren't cheap. Wow. They took off your ring. I'm proud of you. What's the boss? I'm a virgin every night for you. <laughs> really? That mean you want me to pop that cherry tonight? Oh, I don't like that. 
Mm-hmm. I give you every part of me. God damn. Nah. Oh wow, dude. He's just doing his job, but he keeps up with her like it's nothing. Alright, I need a good pick of this. Bro, get the pick early or oh no. Hope she can't talk her way out of. Wait, what? Oops, that's the wrong way. Bro, I know, but... Oh, shit. No, stop, you bitch. Oh, shit. And shit, they're coming this way. Fuck! Shit, I blew it. Not the mission over. Retry. Walking up to me all mad, bitch. I would take all kinds of pictures as she was walking towards me. Got me fucked up. And I would have been talking shit in her face. I would have been recording. I know it's the wrong way. But I don't... Okay, I guess I was just too far. Or too close. Huge. And the photo is just icing on the cake. Hmm. I could have gone closer, I think, but this should be still should still be fine. There you go. Oh yeah, my fucking nose. Hey. Hell man. Did I catch you feeling thirsty? Huh? You what are you doing here? What do you think of this, pig? Your face came out really nice, I think. What? Did you tell your husband you'd quit the host club thing? I wonder what he'd think about this photo. Hand, hand that over. Oh, God. Well, let's not get grabby. Ah. Hey, who the hell are you? Nobody in particular, cougar bait. Or would you say this is just part of the job? Sabasa loves me, you moron. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, totally, Maki. Uh, I don't know about that. Then why did you kick this guy's ass for me? You said you work out, didn't you? Wait, what? Ah! I'll give you 50,000. Er, no, make it 100,000. Is that a good deal to me? So he's in it for the paycheck after all. Let's go, asshole. You think you can step up my lady like that? God, did you just break both your hands? That noise? I'll go easy on you if you don't hit my face. Okay, bro. We're doing this. Threatening, man, he's threatening. Alright, yeah, I can... Okay, we different. What are we about to do? What are we about to do, sir? What are we about to do, sir? Damn. He really about to rock my shit. Ow. I told you not to touch my face. I don't think I did, bro. Are you still blacking out? Subasa, are you okay? Hey. Well, ma'am, what's next on your list? I give you 50,000. Just delete. 50, bitch. You better give me 200K. 100K to pay me back and another 100 for the service. I say we make it 100,000. That much? It's just a picture. Sure, the picture comes cheap, but there's a service fee for deleting it. And my world class photography. Yes, sir. What's with that stare? Are you sizing me up, you creep? Just say that you must still have the money you ripped off me, right? Why not just return that? F fine. I give it back. Just don't tell my husband about this. Give me my shit back, bitch. Yeah. And him. That's hilarious. Yo, you look like you need a drink, man. That's hilarious. Oh, yeah. crap. That is hilarious. <laughs> hmm? Marky? What were, you, what were you doing with that guy? Uh, uh, nothing. Don't tell after I got my money back. Get fucking roasted, bitch. Don't tell me you were at the host club again. N no. Why would I? What is it then? Huh? I'm sorry. I'm glad I got my money back, but I'm annoyed for getting con conned in the first place. More myself than anything. This goes to show you can't let your guard down in Komorcho, no matter how well you think you know it. 
What a good walk-off line. 